Hi and welcome to this super fast um, answer to a question in Gazebo Answers. So this user has a problem on how to make two objects have different frictions in different directions. So I'm just going to complement and basically do a demonstration on how this could be done and how it works more or less. So I'm going to use RDS, so ROS Development Studio, and basically what I've done is I've I've created the this simple package that I created in a git and I'm I've created this world that is a simple world with let's put this here so I have this this world with this gravity and that's it okay so what I'm going to do is first of all create and spawn two different boxes. The only difference between this box and this one is that the X one has friction in in mu one zero point one and in the second direction it has more. So basically what I'm doing is that this object will be very easy to move it in the x-axis but very difficult to move it in the y-axis and the y-object is the same thing but the other way around so these are URDFs and in URDFs what you are doing is using this gazebo tag to change all the parameters of gazebo in case of SDF would be the same thing but um, insert it as this user does it. But in URDF it's, it's highly advisable and it's interesting because this is probably going to, you be, to be used for robots and URDF normally is used more often with, UR, uh, with robots. So, <clears throat> so, so what's, what I've done is, once we have this, we just have to spawn it. So I've spawned these objects through a simple spawning script that essentially what we're doing is using this spawn robot URDF, which I have here. So spawn URDF, uh, there we go, and it's a simple launch for spawning object, so nothing very fancy. So let's let's go, so the the last step is once we have it spawned, these two objects, so we're going to spawn them right now, so I'm going to spawn X, I'm going to spawn Y, green, and X is red. So this red box can move in this axis. And or it can move in both axes, but in this axis it has a very low friction, which is the, uh, the move one. And then we have this green one, which has in the Y axis less friction. So, now that we have them, we just have to push them in different ways. So what I'm going to do is I've created this script, which what it does is change gravity in one direction or in another. So first we're going to, so I'm going to comment this here. There we go. 
go. So in this case, oops. In this case, I'm going to activate gravity in the x axis and then stop it after one second. So I'm going to launch this script. And there we go. So as you see, I activated gravity in this direction. Because this one has the moon in the second direction, so in y-axis, much higher, it didn't move. While this one, because has it has the friction in the x-axis, much lower, it moved. Okay? Now, I'm going to do the same thing, but I'm going to... Oops, sorry. Okay, it's the same thing, but now we're going to do it in the y-axis. This script has also a function that resets the simulation, so I don't have to re relaunch it again. I just reset the simulation, and then... So it will reset these two objects that I spawned to their original positions, spawning positions, and then it will activate the gravity in the y-axis. So, let's go. So, there we go. And then, I can stop it, in this case. It went really, really far away. So, let's do it again. There we go. Okay, and that's quite it. So I leave I leave the the solutions for all the code and all the stuff that you need to do this just to make it clear. I just defined a box and I changed them the moon in one direction or another and then I applied forces in one direction or another to test that it works. Okay, so thank you very much. If you like the, the answer uh, or you want to have access to more answers and be notified for that, please uh, think of subscribing to the channel and hope to see you soon. Bye!